G'day guys, Glenn Azar here, the Founder and Adventure Director of Adventure Professionals. Now, I regularly get asked, after almost 60 times crossing the Kokoda Track, what my top tips are. So what I thought I would do is put some short, sharp videos together for anyone trekking Kokoda, whether with us or anyone else out there, so that you can have some tips based off my many years of experience uh, in the Army and then also across the Kokoda Track. So here's my top tips. Top tip number one is to look after your feet. So this starts in the training phase, but I guess with uh, the Kokoda season kicking off for 2017, my biggest advice for you is a couple of things. One, clip your toenails. Clip your toenails before you head over there. The last thing you want is your toes hitting the ends of your boots, uh, and then you'll start to lift your toenails, and we see that all the time. So really tidy up all of your feet and your toenails. If you are prone to blisters and that sort of thing, take some rigid strapping tape and put some strapping tape over those blisters and or where you're potentially going to get blisters and leave it there for the entirety of the trip if you can. When your feet get wet on the Kokoda track, and they will, and you start to peel that sort of tape off, it can tear skin as well. So just be mindful of that. When you put it on, I try to leave it on for as long as possible. In line with that, make sure that you've got the right fitting boots so that your feet aren't hitting the end of your boots. Now, I normally try and fit a trekking boot a half size bigger than a normal boot. So if you're wearing a size 12 shoe, buy a trekking boot in a 12 and a half. Pull your heel all the way back, tighten the laces so that when you're going on the steep downhills, your toes aren't constantly hitting the end of your boot because that's going to cause some problems for you as well. My next tip would be to dry your feet out every night. So get around the fire when you get into camp, dry your feet out, try and dry your boots out as best you can, and have four or five changes of socks. So every couple of days, you can be putting some fresh socks on. And my number one tip to go into all of that when you're out on the track is, well, actually I'll give you two. One is wear your boots on the plane, how many times people have turned up and thought they'd packed their boots and they hadn't, that's number one. But when you're out on the track, Get a light coating of Vaseline all over your feet. Doesn't have to be much, but just a light coating in between your toes and everywhere before you put your socks on. Now, we do that in the army, but if you're not used to that, it's gonna kind of feel weird. But trust me, it helps to weatherproof your feet. When your feet are constantly wet and your socks are rubbing, it starts to take little bits of skin away. Bacteria gets inside, and that's how the foot rot sets in. If you look after your feet, you'll have an amazing experience along the Kokoda track, and that's the most important thing. Your feet are the one thing that are gonna get you there. Hope you guys have fun out in the track. If we cross paths, say good day. I'd uh, love to see you out there and really enjoy yourself. It is a phenomenal experience.